Hello, it's Leontine from Little Lovely Crafts. Happy 2021, everyone. I'm back with a card for Valentine's Day and I've used a lot of Lawn Farm products, uh, some old and some new, and I hope you liked what I made today. These are some of the stamps I stamped. And as you can see, I altered a few of them or just partially stamped them so I can add something more Valentine related. I'm using my Copic multi-liner to add a few lines and I'm using a white gel pen to erase some lines that shouldn't be there. I didn't stamp the bottom of the hearts because I wanted to make it look like a balloon. I used the coordinating dies on the stamps that I could use the dies on and I am going to fussy cut the rest of them and um, I'm going to show you how I did it. So this is pretty much the design I came up with a few days ago and now I'm going to show you how I colored a few of these stamps with my Copic markers. I decided to use Long Fun ink on my background panel instead of Distress Oxide ink and I'm using Minty Fresh on the top part and I'm using Merman ink on the bottom half. I'm pretty happy with how the colors look together. Now I'm going to use my quickie glue pen around the little stitched heart uh, edges and I'm using some Prisma glitter to just give it a little more sparkle. Now I'm going to attach a piece of acetate to the back of my uh, front panel and I'm using score tape so it doesn't smudge or move around because I'm very good at getting glue on the pieces of acetate that are going to show on the card. I decided to give this trick a try. I placed my panel in my stamping tool and then I tried to position the acetate on top and somehow I still managed to get it sticking out a little bit but I used my scissors to trim it off and then we can move on to the next step. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gluing on my images and I'm using glue mostly but for some of them I used some thin foam squares to lift them up just a little bit more. Because I want the background of my car to be a light pink, I'm using some Spun Sugar Distress Oxide ink and I'm just inking up the entire panel and then I am putting some 2mm thick foam tape on the back of my front panel and I can fill it up with some polymer clay confetti and I got it in a like pastel kind of color variation and if you're wondering how I got it, I've linked it in my description box down below. Now that three squares are all filled up with confetti, I can place my pink panel on top and luckily it's the same size so I can just um, peel off a tiny bit of that liner paper and um, kind of position that panel and when I found the right spot I'm pulling all of the liner paper off and I can just press it down and I can stick that onto a card base. I decided to keep the rest of the card white, so my card base is white and that scallop piece is white as well. And that way I think my panel just pops off the card. And that finishes up my card. I hope you liked watching and if you haven't already I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Give my video a thumbs up if you liked it and I hope I will see you next time. Stay safe everyone. Bye!